Okay, let's learn some new stuff. The heck is will set? What the heck is a mutating function? All right, so um, in this example, let's say you have a structure. These are all about structs, and uh, let's say that structure is called push-ups. And you want to write a program ultimately to count push-ups. You have a push-up goal, and then I don't know, print a statement if you succeed in reaching that goal. So you have a goal, and we're going to set it up so you haven't actually determined the goal yet. So you're not going to put the, the number into the structure yet. Because maybe your goal is different than my goal. Maybe I can only do 20 push-ups, but you can do 100. And, uh, and then we'll say there's uh, your push-up like count, like how many push-ups you've done, and that's an integer. Okay, and then let's say there's a function called push-ups do, do one. That's a function, so it's got the little parentheses. And, okay, so now we've set up like kind of like a basic structure to our struct, but check this out. So you can have a computed property. So instead of just saying count, we're going to put brackets behind it and I'm going to type in will set. This is something I have never ever done before but I'm happy to learn something new. And then I'm putting brackets behind will set also. If and then we're calling something new like uh, if the new value or the new count is equal to our goal then do this thing. Print Wowie, zowie, great job reaching your goal. Okay, let's see if it likes that or not. Use of unresolved identifier. Let's see, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Anyone see my problem here? This is a, a, a condition. If new count is is equal to goal, but I'm not comparing if it's equal to goal here. I'm I'm uh, I'm setting it. See, because two equal signs is a comparison. One equal sign is not. I see. And this has to be new value. Evidently within will set new value is a, a thing inside of will set so it's got to be called new value hmm, live and learn okay that's good to know this is a weird thing okay so now we've got a variable called count and it's going to print if the new value of the count is equal to the goal kind of wild kind of wacky so down here inside of our do one push up function we're going to say the count is equal to the count plus one you could also do count plus equals one but it's going to give me this warning we cannot assign a property we cannot assign to property self because it's immutable mark method mutating to make self mutable well, you see, it's a circle with a dot, so that means it's got a fix for me. It's asking me if it can fix it for me. Please fix my code. And I click the fix button. And then look, it dropped this mutating um, parameter before function here. So now my function's a mutating function. It can add up. It can, it can uh, mutate now. It can change. So now let's check this out. We got a structure, we got a goal, we got a count, we've got this weird stuff, will set stuff. We've got a function down here below. So let's say um, let Dave's push up Dave's push ups equal push ups. And then I'm starting my open parentheses and I just hit enter here so that it gets me through here. So my goal We'll say my goal is 30 push-ups, and my count is 29 push-ups right now. Okay, so you could do something like print Dave's push-ups dot count, and it should 
print out 29 down here. Well, what if Dave's push-ups now do one? That's not great. Not great English. Dave's push-ups do one. Uh-oh. We got a problem here. Oh, I know what the problem is. I said it's let, but it should be var because my push-ups will change. Boom. I do one push-up and it says wowie zowie, great job reaching your goal because my push-up count is now 30. So here we go. So this is it. We did it. We have gotten through this lesson. Again, let's go over it one last time. This jazz here is very important for um, for using will set. I wonder if I can look up will set. What does it say? Can I look up that stuff in here? That's just an Xcode thing. I'm going to pull up the will set documentation because I'm kind of curious now. Oh, there's also did set and will set. Here's an example of will set and did set in action. The example below defines a new class called step counter, which tracks the total number of steps a person takes while walking. The class might be used with input data for a pedometer. Okay, let's check it out. So you have a class instead of a struct, and they set their variable. Here's their will set. Their will set actually takes a parameter called total new steps. My will set, I don't think it took a parameter. Did set if total steps is uh, greater than old value added steps. Here's how it's called down here. It's very interesting. Okay, so there's a lot to learn, a lot to do, but here is an example of will set. And uh, I'll have to do another thing on did set and see the difference between will set and did set because I'm not entirely clear. Have a good day.